I think Midnight is also technically naked now, right? Okay. So we can have Midnight wear this t-shirt. And I'm going to have Vortec wear this cowboy hat, because why not? And I'm going to have Lightning wear this armor. Shepard wear this jacket. Everyone come pick off this guy's stuff. All right, what are we missing? We have plenty of components. Why aren't they finishing the turrets is the next question. Uh, there's a mining order over here, but they're not taking that out for some reason. I think they're just really distracted. There's just a lot to do. Let's turn off the turrets. It's taking up power for no reason. Did anyone dig these graves yet? No. Uh, okay. Can midnight prioritize hauling? Prioritize burying. Perfect. Now they're getting turrets done. Yes. We need to reconnect this turret. There we go. Perfect. Who's unhappy nudity now? Midnight. No, Midnight, you're wearing a shirt. Here, come wear these pants. They're so whiny, especially Midnight. Is Weem unhappy? No, Weem doesn't care about his lack of clothing. Dead man's pants. Oh, gosh. Come on. Greedy for impressive bedroom. Evil wheat. <laughs> Enough with the break risks. What's wrong now, lightning? Dead man's pants. Plus disturbed sleep. <sighs> Whiner. I'm so tired of those little dings about the brake risks. And these idiots, in the middle of a heat wave, put their parkas back on. I should have just left them forbidden. No. Now you get to have your parkas on. Now you can just be hot. I don't care. Jeez, lightning. A more awesome way of getting rid of old bodies is make a room in a cave with stone or steel door or something. Bump all the dead people into it, throw a Molotov or flame grenade into the room, and lock the door. Horrible. Glad I had them harvest this because I have a feeling they're hungry now too. Oh man. How's our power? Oh good, low, very low. Is there an oh there's an eclipse? Great. Cool. Now there's an eclipse. What the heck are we supposed to do with that? We're going to lose power. There's a heat wave with an eclipse. That makes no sense. The sun's blocking the... I hate this colony. Finished fire foam research. That's good. I'm 
gonna go with the passive cooler for the next research project because uh heat wave take your calming meds yeah we have geothermal um it's just not enough we need another geothermal generator for sure sadly the next geyser is all the way out there i just don't know if we have anything closer we have this one i suppose i honestly don't know which would be the better bet uh they're both just kind of far um and we really don't have the materials like the components to to um to do it steel isn't really a problem it's just this compact machinery we just don't have enough around Here's some. All right, let's let's mine this up. Oh, and here's some over here. I'm going really far now to get this stuff. Because I'm just going to go ahead and try to get them to build another geothermal power generator. Like so. There it is. The eclipse is gone. I'm still doing this, though. That is a long power line they're going to need to make. Let's get started. All right. Let's get to work. So why are all these turrets on? That that doesn't make sense to me. You all are running out of power. Oh my gosh. Something has disconnected the power. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. We're going to deconstruct a couple of power lines. And everything will be okay. No wonder our batteries are not functioning. We have six turrets that are just draining us. Can somebody please focus on this project? The, 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 we're going to lose power again, guys. No? That's fine. We don't need crops or anything. Hey, lightning. We're not done. Oh, that's reserved by Weem. Okay. Where is he? There we go. There we go. Now the turrets are off. That's good. Okay. Whew. I'm going to have them research after this project. Um, passive cooler. I'm going to have them research carpet making. That's going to be a long one. Um, but we have cotton growing. And uh, we're just going to have that stockpiled for a bit. And once we have a good amount of cotton, we can start putting carpet in their bedrooms and stuff. Or anything, really, to make them happier. Beavers! No, beavers, no, no, no. Go away, beavers. I don't have any trees for you. This is great. Watch. Check this out. Do you see all these, these beavers? And there's some rabbits in there, too? Boom! One big, stupid hunting order on all those beavers. Who are our hunters, and will they prioritize hunting? Um, Mojo. Yep. Lightning? Eh, yeah, you can practice some shooting. Evil Wheat. I think Evil Wheat has a good gun now. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he does. He is also going to prioritize hunting. I think Midnight just has a melee weapon. Shepard has a club. Who else? Weem. Has a knife. Okay, good. That doesn't matter. Hunting. Unlike the unlike the game version of me, I'm a good shot. Level Bacchus, welcome back. How are you? Uh 
Oh, that's the sound of beavers dying. Heck yes. Meat for days. They're all going to practice shooting. <laughs> awesome. Heck yes. Look at this. We're getting all kinds of meals now. We struck compact steel. Oh. <laughs> for a second, I thought that was plasteel. I got excited for no reason. Crest? Oh, no. I I, I haven't seen that game in forever. I mean, never say never, but I, I, just don't, I just don't see myself playing that anytime soon, unfortunately. There may be a time where I, I'm down to revisit some old games I've tried. That would make for a fun stream, just like checking out various games. Ooh, we have 584 wood now, suddenly. That's good. That's good news. Um, how's our research? Slow? Slow and steady. Sky Saga was cool. That was a cool game. Are they ever going to do this pool table? Oh, we need cloth. Ugh. Fudge. No wonder. What about tube television? We did research that, didn't we? Joy. Oh, yeah. Mm, I mean, the heater takes up one of those, but let's... Turn that off and reinstall it up here. And what about chairs? Let's just throw some dining chairs down. It's like a little movie theater. There we go. <laughs> These alpha beavers are giving us quite the boost in our food production, which we kind of need right now, so that's a good thing. Alright, finish the passive cooler. Uh, what was next? Carpet making. Research it. Do it. Love to get some carpet in this place. Welcome, everyone, if you're just joining us. We are surviving and thriving in RimWorld. And it's going okay. It's, uh, it's kind of slow going, but we're getting there. We're doing well. I just got them their first TV and set up a little awful theater area with, uh, with way too much light. We have our, our kill box started. It didn't really work out for us last time because uh, last time we made something like that, the raid we had, they tried to get in here. Which I'm actually thinking we should probably throw a turret back there now that I remember. Uh, do we have enough components though? We're still not done with the geothermal generator. So no, we don't have enough. We'll be fine. Really, the best way to protect yourself with this current update is to put turrets just around your base. Just just a few. Have your main kill box, sure. Like, that's good for luring people in. But chances are you'll only be using it for that with the way the game works these days. You haven't slept yet. Ooh. Get some sleep. So there's no more heat wave. That's good. Um... Oh, yes, our cotton's almost done growing. Sweet. Awesome. There's a rotting corpse inside the, uh... 
Yikes. Vortac, can you prioritize? Cannot bury corpse, no empty grave. Cannot haul. Oh. What? Hold on. What's wrong with our dump here? Allow rotten. Corpses. Oh, jeez. Um, okay, I'm going to do a, a lower priority on this thing, and we're going to do corpses. We'll allow animal corpses, but they have to be rotting. Um, okay, now can you haul it? Prioritize hauling dead hair. No wonder everyone's so bummed out when they go in the farm. There's a rotting corpse. All right, Bryn, we'll see you later. Have a good night. What are the, what's in these cargo pods? <gasps> Look, it's 13 lavish meals. That's awesome. Let's have Vortec prioritize hauling the lavish meals. They'll love that. A pirate merchant is approaching. Mojo won't do hauling. Dang it. I just want them to take all those lavish meals. I don't want them to wait. Alright, Mojo is going to negotiate with the pirate merchant. Hopefully we get some cool stuff. Dang. More cargo pods. Are you kidding me right now? First of all, trade with the pirate merchant. What do we got here? Uh, the tortoise. Hopefully no one has uh, been attached to the tortoise. I'm going to sell it. Um, next on the agenda. Seems like they only want to deal in this stuff. Uh, crud. Yeah, there's not much here. Okay, well, let's just accept that trade. And then... Cargo pods. What's in these cargo pods? Ooh. I love marble blocks. Great. I'm not going to force them to go grab those right now. Get our harvesting going. Now with cloth, they can finish the pool table. Perfect. Good. They will have no troubles with joy soon. What is this? Looks like just a pile of vomit on the ground. Good deal, good deal. At least they're productive. At least we got some stuff going. Um, I'm surprised the pirates don't want this jade we've mined. Oh, a psychic drone. Great. That's always good. What is all this green crap that I can't do anything with? Weird. We are halfway through making carpets. I didn't mean to zoom out like that. There we go. Or carpet research, anyway. If we can hold on to a lot of this cloth, that'll be really helpful. So, guys, um, while we're kind of waiting for them to wake up and continue, there are a few little PSA things. I guess just for now, one PSA thing that I haven't gotten to talk about very much at all uh today is the first of the month and that means our patreon server rolls over to the next season if you will now that is an unturned server currently we uh the, the last few months mojo and i have been running a patreon unturned server it's been a lot of fun um the first season we had people separated on two teams there was raiding and looting and chaos and it was really really hard to manage 
The second season, we decided to try doing a peaceful thing, letting people stock up their items throughout the season, and in the end, do like this all-out war. And the server kind of broke, and it kind of ruined our finale, which was really frustrating. Uh, but everyone had a lot of fun anyway. Uh, we've all been playing a lot of Unturned. And I talked to the patrons, and uh, just about everybody seems on board with switching games because we've been playing Unturned for like two months straight now, and we're considering doing a Minecraft server. Now, uh, the Minecraft server probably won't open until partway through this month, and uh, now that it's the first, it's too late for new patrons. Like, if you signed up today, you'd still have to wait a whole month to, to obtain those rewards. But I'm just telling you now, in case that's something you want to do, uh, the link should be down below if I did my Twitch stuff correctly. And uh, you can go read up on information on what that's all about. Uh, that's going to be a Minecraft server, and... Uh, we're, we have some ideas. It's not going to be too crazy, at least at first. Uh, we're just going to go vanilla with, like, a couple of, like, just quality of life mods in there. Like, teleporting home and all that stuff. And uh, eventually that will expand and grow into something more fun as time uh, goes on. So, that's kind of where it's at. If that's something you're interested in, again, that should be linked down below. Um, Jester Ark started to freak out. First month thinking I lost a day. Then I remembered time zone. Oh, <laughs> Welcome, Jester. How are you? Uh, I'm sorry to freak you out. Am I still alive? Yep, everyone's still alive. Amazingly enough. I'm worried that, that we don't have enough beds. I, we definitely don't have enough bedrooms. I think it's about time I start getting the colony uh, advanced a little bit more in terms of rooms and such. Hmm. What? Let's, let's mess with... I'm going to slow down time. Let them keep working, but let's mess with the planning tool. Hmm. If I... Let's see here. I want the rooms to be all the same size still. That's kind of interesting. I could fit two whole rooms right there. Hmm. Well, let's do it. Perfect. Almost 8 a.m. should hit the hay soon, but not yet. <laughs> nice. Watching two guys drive around a car with two missing tires, my sentry killing them and jumping over off my tower was amazing. So Midnight is on this Patreon server, and yes, they, um, they've been having like a heck of a time. I missed a lot of it because of work, unfortunately. I think pretty soon we need to, and I dug these graves in a bad spot. I, I should be getting ready to expand the base up into this nice flat area, but that's not going to happen. Um, I could always add over here to the base. There's a lot of room to expand. But yeah, rooms and, and stuff. We don't have a whole lot. Going into power real quick. We should now have enough marble wall to drag power all the way out here and get them some lamps instead of these torches. Uh, let's deconstruct all the torches. And throw some standing lamps. Finish carpet research. Yes. Perfect. Throw some standing lamps in all of these rooms like so that's going to help a lot and planters uh, are always good I'm going to put some some little plants in all the rooms here do we have wood no we probably do not oof I think it's time we chop some more trees but where I guess all of these can go. I guess not. C 
So with carpet making, we should be able to start getting people some nice carpet in their bedrooms, which they'll love. Uh, if I go to floors, we now have cream, blue, green, red, and dark carpets. If I go cream, it's seven pieces of cloth for one carpet, by the way. Holy cow. Holy smokes. This is 147 right here. We have 375, so we can afford to do one room at a time, probably. Dang. We can afford to do one more. OZ Dad Gamer, or Oz Dad Gamer, I don't know why I said OZ. Dad Gamer, welcome. And uh, yeah, planting trees is, is something I should probably prioritize. I'm worried about the winter coming soon though. Like I haven't built a farm around them. I haven't prepared for that, but uh, okay. Maybe what we can do for that is at least build, like start planting them outside and then hope and pray we can put some protection around them in the future. Let's see. You're right, I should be planting trees. Hold on, before I make this farm here, how long is this? Let me go into my planning tool. Nine, okay, good. What, is that right, nine? Looks big. Uh, okay, and then we can plant. Um, what's the best tree? Is it teak or is it this this one? This, I can't pronounce it. Let's just do that. All right, Just Ark, we'll see you around. Quest for orange carpet? I don't know if I have orange carpet. <laughs> At least they're getting the trees grown pretty quick. That's nice. They already look like fully grown trees. Can they can they harvest these yet? Chop wood. Growth rate 100 percent What? Wait. Are are these ready to be chopped down? They just planted them. Combat supplier. Okay, where's Mojo? What do we got here? Uh, components. They are they're charging way too much for components. Hmm. Mortar shells. Can we sell them? We could sell them the frag grenades, but I kind of feel like I should keep those. That's going to equal 32. Yeah, I'll just keep those. All right. Useless combat supplier. Then thanks for nothing. I said should make a copy. Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, don't worry about it then. As far as I can recall, you plant trees, then forget about them. Hold on, let me just try something real quick. If I do a harvest, no. If I do chop wood. Yeah, I guess, okay, they just need to grow. Their growth rate is 100%, but that, that just means they're growing with proper light and whatever. That's in, in temperature. Got it. Everyone's idol. Look at that. New lovers. Weem and Lightning have come together and are now lovers. Crap. <laughs> Which one's Lightning's bed? That's Evil Wheat's bed. This is Lightning's bed. Okay. Uh... All right, let's go ahead. Oh, crud. Can I reinstall the planter? Yes. Let's reinstall that here. Let's take Lightning's bed and reinstall it down in this room. And then, there we go. And then we're gonna build a new bed for the new lovers.
How are we on metal? Because they're not building anything that I need them to build, so that must mean we need more. They're still not done with the geothermal power? Do we ever unrestrict the animals, by the way? We didn't. Whoops. Joey is back. Joey is lurking. Enjoy your lurking. Thank you for coming back. Look at our idle colonists. Bunch of useless jerks. Put Mojo's hunt, uh, art priority at one so she does more of that. Plant cutting. Since Shepard's capable of it, it's going at a three. Uh, mining for everyone's going at a three. I need to start getting them doing things they are capable of doing. Okay, that's good. I just don't need everyone idle like that. Tis crazy. All right, doors. Structure. We need a door on each of these bedrooms here. And we need a hall order on all of these rocks. And then we're going to need, I think what we're going to need to do is upset everybody by giving an order to mine out all of this nonsense right here because we're going to replace it with marble. notice something oh I never hooked up this power line to anything what a dummy okay there we go <laughs> I'm like why aren't those lamps lit up we made lamps okay good they're almost done already with that order um, the trick to doing this corner right here I think I don't know if it matters that much they're gonna mine that out watch Shepard he's gonna okay I'm gonna put a wall right there and that should prevent it because I've had it in the past where I've put the, the entire wall order in. There we go. And they never do it because they finish the wall around it first, if that makes any sense. So anyway, that should solve that problem. Get some power conduits going to it. Perfect. Heck to the yeah. And our lights have power. Sweet. How's our cotton? Slow? Slow growing. Clip by midnight. Dang it, midnight. <laughs> Enclosed corners first, indeed. That's just like common sense, right? The last thing I could do just to make this room pretty is is mine out um, this stuff. Oh. Stick a marble wall right there as well. You told us to clip stuff, and I am. I know. I'm still... I can still be upset about it, though. Because I know it's probably you making fun of me. Somehow. Or is, it, is it time to... Yes, it's time to harvest all the corn. Refugee. Chased at streamer. That's the name of, like, the area. A ranch owner named Isla Newman calls you from nearby. She's being chased by tribespeople from the Blue Plain Accord. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, she's 42. Be warned if you accept, you have to fight off tribespeople on her tail. Newman has a relationship with a colonist. She's Vortex X lover. Didn't this happen with Vortex last time? An X lover tried to join and I, I turned them away because we didn't need the stress and the headache. 
I'm gonna let them in the colony because it's just at this rate we can never have enough people. 42 and an ex-lover? No. 42 is young for RimWorld. For RimWorldians. Offer safety. What could go wrong? So many things could go wrong. Turn on the turrets. Flick. And we have a raid. Wow, that is a significant amount of tribes people. I hope they come through our kill box because otherwise we're in deep trouble. Uh, we're gonna restrict everybody to the alarm zone again, including animals this time and hopefully we remember to unrestrict those guys. All right, bye tribes people. Look at them, dumb idiots. No, you're not supposed to. Uh. Come on. Death to tribes, people. Look at this. Luckily, we have a last line of defense in these two turrets. If they're making short work of those. It's not very helpful. Ah! Run! Run, tribes people! <laughs> Great, now we have four bodies to contend to, or to contend with, and no turrets. We got some good melee weapons out of it. We got a bow, too, so someone with crappy shooting could take that. Oh, dang it. Now I gotta rebuild these turrets. The firing rate on these things is just not impressive at all. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Four between each one. One, two, three, four. Okay. At least they didn't blow each other up, the turrets. Oh, there was five between each one. Ah, that's okay. Good. That should help. Uh, let's turn the switch off. There we go. And we're going to strip each one of these. And we have three graves. We're going to need one more. I'm just going to make a few. Oh, alarm zone. No more alarm zone for you or the animals. <laughs> Mojo won't like it. All right. Cool. So we have a new colony, colonist named Newman. Hmm. 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 All right. We're going to go with Jester. Welcome, Jester. Best of luck to you and rest in peace all at the same time. Let's see what kinds of things Jester is and is not doing. So, oh, both both of you need to be. Yeah, Jester's not gonna be a doctor. There we go. No cooking for Jester, no hunting for Jester. Construction, that'll be a two. Growing will be to three. Mining will be to three. Crafting, three. Okay. You know what I would really like, actually, for this new colonist? Mm, never mind. I was going to say hauling and cleaning out of one each, but it's always nice when you have one person dedicated to hauling and cleaning. Your colonists are a lot happier that way. Jeez, the storm. <gasps> Look at that. Look at all the compact machinery we hit over here. Let's get a mining order on that. Oh, we got corn. We got simple meals going. Yes. Thriving. No cooking would be a nice change. Me too. 
I feel you. Hain we, I think I'm saying your name right. Hello, welcome to the stream. <laughs> You're gonna instantly leave for because I botched your name, I'm sure. That's that tends to be what happens. Uh oh. Uh oh, solar flare. Dang it. There goes our power for a little bit. Those tend to not last that long, but I'll be eating those words, I'm sure. Pain is fine. All right, cool. Welcome. Um, how are our trees doing? 17% grown. Okay, slow. <laughs> Pretty sure winter will hit before those finish growing. Oh, major break risk. I know the power's out. It's fine. We'll be fine. Item stash opportunity. Ooh, wow. Eh, not worth it. It's never worth it. Because we need to, like, set up a whole caravan and stuff. A fire? Where? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where? Oh, whoa, whoa. I clicked off the game. Where's the fire? Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, are they putting out the... Who cares? Oh, because the power line. Oh my gosh, they're all gonna fight that fire. All right, well, cool. I guess we caused it somehow, even though we don't even have power going out there yet. Oh, you idiots. Where's our home area? Expand home area. Dumb idiots, go take care of the fire. Fight! We don't need to lose any more trees. Alright, it's just gonna keep spreading. Whatever. I'm, I could expand that home area forever, apparently. Oh, good. I know there's a fire. It's fine. They need eight components in this thing, and what's annoying is they have 34, and no one's taking the initiative to finish it. Midnight's room is all dug out. Good, good. Uh, let's take all of these rocks and haul them out of here. And let's do a structure, marble wall, all through here. There we go. I still don't think they've added babies to the game yet, actually. Which is pretty disappointing. And all the time I've been playing, I still don't have a problem. Look at that dog hauling all the stuff. What a good dog. Uh, and all this time, I still haven't had them, like, make babies. Alright, where's our research? Gonna research refining. It needs to rain or something. The fire's gonna take out everything. 